This post-high school planning presentation is brought to you by the Haverford High School Counseling Department. This presentation includes an overview of the post-high school planning process, the use of Naviance, and the instructions for requesting transcripts. All the documents in this presentation have been shared with you on Google Drive. The first thing you'll find in the shared post-high school planning folder is a sample unofficial Haverford High School transcript. This unofficial transcript includes courses taken, final grades earned in each course, and the credit received. It also lists both weighted GPA and unweighted GPA. You will be given an unofficial copy of your transcript at the beginning of 12th grade. Next, you will find the sheet titled Naviance. Naviance is a comprehensive website that students and parents can use as a tool in post high school planning, managing their career planning, and navigating the college application process. You will first remember being introduced to Naviance in ninth grade when your counselor provided you with your login information and a brief overview of its capabilities. In tenth grade, the counselors presented an in depth look at the colleges, careers, and about me tabs in Naviance. As a junior, the counselors are hopeful that you have had the opportunity to further explore your post-high school options by completing a career interest profiler, career cluster finder, or watching some of the many videos available under Road Trip Nation. We are confident that the college and career research options will continue to be beneficial as you progress through the post-high school planning and application process. Next, you will find the remaining SAT and ACT test dates, as well as the anticipated test dates for next year. When planning your testing schedule, please keep in mind that the SAT will be offered in August. To register for the SAT, please visit www.collegeboard.org. To register for the ACT, please visit www.act.org. At the bottom, you will find a table that lists the deadline dates to request transcripts for specific college and university deadline dates. This table can also be found on the counseling website at the start of the school year. Next, you will find the Common Application Essay Prompts. If you're planning to use the Common Application, please take the time to review these prompts and start preparing. As a reminder, the Common Application is one application that can be used at nearly 800 colleges and universities. Please visit www.commonapp.org to view all the colleges and universities that accept the Common Application. Next, you will find the planning calendar for 12th grade. This planning calendar should look familiar, as you have received a planning calendar at the beginning of 9th, 10th, and 11th grades. This calendar is provided to help you focus on the many things that need to be done in 12th grade. Let's take some time to focus in on the important things that need to be done in the fall of your senior year. First and foremost, if you have not already done so, you should create a personal email address for post high school planning purposes only. Your school district email should not be used. Second, review your senior year schedule with your counselor and confirm that you are meeting all graduation requirements. Continue to challenge yourself. Third, if you will be requesting your counselor to write a letter of recommendation or to complete a form for the application process, please complete the student evaluation and activities record in Naviance under the About Me tab. It is also helpful if a parent or guardian completes the parent information sheet. Fourth, continue exploring and narrowing down your post high school options by using the various resources in Naviance that we previously discussed, meeting with your counselor and talking to friends, family, teachers, and recent graduates of Haverford. You can also attend college and career representative presentations at HHS. A list of visiting schools can be found on Naviance. To attend, you must follow the directions for attending a college representative visit at HHS, register on Naviance, and complete an actual paper pass. On the back of the planning calendar, you will see more important information regarding post high school planning, such as applying to schools, sending your transcripts, requesting teacher recommendations, and completing the free application for federal student aid. It is crucial to look at the additional requirements for each school as you begin deciding where you're going to apply. One thing that has changed over the years is teacher and counselor letters of recommendation. Many schools are no longer requiring letters of recommendation or only require one letter. 
As you are planning, it is important to think about which teacher would be most appropriate to write a letter of recommendation for you. It should be someone who knows you well and could speak to your strengths in the classroom and possibly even in an extracurricular activity. We recommend that you select one teacher to write you a letter. You should first make a face-to-face -face personal request to the teacher prior to the end of your junior year. This will allow the teacher to accept your request and to be prepared in the fall to receive your official request. Please remember that writing a letter of recommendation is above and beyond a teacher's regular responsibilities. It is important to provide them with adequate time to prepare and write the letter. The planning calendar continues with an overview about scholarships, sending mid-year grades, and taking advanced placement exams if you are enrolled in AP classes. Lastly, it reminds you to complete the senior survey in May. This form needs to be completed for state reporting purposes and to ensure that your final transcript is sent to the school you will be attending. Next, you will find the transcript request instructions for post high school applications. These instructions walk you through all the necessary steps to add the colleges you are applying to in Naviance, complete the FERPA waiver, send your SAT and or ACT scores, request a teacher letter of recommendation, and most importantly, how to request a transcript. Please keep in mind that transcript requests must be submitted to the counseling office at least 15 school days prior to the post high school's deadline. Transcript request deadline dates will be posted on the main page of the counseling website at the beginning of the school year. Your counselor will visit your advisory at the beginning of 12th grade to review these instructions with you step by step. You can begin requesting transcripts in the second week of the school year. On the back of the transcript request instructions for post high school applications, you will find more detailed information about the FERPA waiver. The lower half of the page describes the various methods of transcript delivery. The next page you will find is the transcript release permission form. Completion of this form allows your counselor to send your official transcript and senior year schedule to the schools that you request. Your completion of this form serves as an acknowledgement that you will send your official admission testing scores via College Board and or ACT that you will follow the transcript request instructions for post high school applications, and that you understand that the 15 school day timeline initiates with the completion of step eight on the transcript request instructions. Completion of this form also serves as an acknowledgement that you will complete the student evaluation and activities record if you are requesting a counselor letter of recommendation, and that you waive your right to read any recommendations submitted on your behalf. This form requires your signature and your parent or guardian's signature if you are under 18. In the Financial Aid and Scholarship Information folder, you will find resources from the Pennsylvania Higher Education Assistance Agency. These include Navigating a College Fair Brochure, the FAFSA Tip Sheet, the Scholarship Tip Sheet, the Private Student Loans Brochure, the Award Letter Comparison Worksheet, and the Student Aid Guide. This guide reviews the cost of your education, applying for financial aid, the various financial aid programs, student loans, and other available resources. All of these resources would be beneficial in making financial decisions with regard to post high school planning. Thank you for taking the time to view this video. Please make an appointment to meet with your counselor to further discuss your post high school plans.